Ooh. Big field. Big field and a lot of good guys. So... That will be tough. So there's definitely the opportunity here if I can uh, get a good finish to really pick up some points. But I gotta capitalize on it. Um, Auto Club has been a good track for me in the past. It's big, wide, and flat, which uh, is, you know, it makes for a lot of good racing. Um, passing, don't get me wrong, just like everywhere we go, passing is still difficult. But here you at least do have some room to make moves. Oh my goodness, thing is tight. So, gonna have to figure out what to do with this setup here. It seems like it would just really, really tight. Um, but let's log, load into qualifying and see what we can do. I'm just going to have to back up that corner three entry. Oh yeah, this is an old surface and especially with the new tire model that is going to put a greater emphasis on tire wear, I'm sure that they fall off immediately. Um, but, on the flip side of that, you know, if you can save the tires, then that'll make for a... Uh, which I tend to drive somewhat conservatively on this track. So, if the tires really are falling off a, a whole lot more than they usually do like that, maybe that'll benefit me because my long run strategy might come into play a little bit. Oh my goodness. Come on, get her woed down. Get up off the corner. They did say that the, you know, with the new setup and the new tire model and everything, the times we're going to be down on some of these big tracks, and it looks like that's the case. About a second and a half, and that looks about right. Maybe more than that. Going to be two seconds slower than what I used to get at this track, so... I don't know if that's just me being junk, or if it really is that much slower. That's a better entry into one than I did before. Just no grip at all. Can't pick up the throttle. Sub gas meters. Welcome. Um, so I'm going to do two races at least, possibly a third. Um, but the plan is to run Auto Club and then run a NNS race at Watkins Glen. And that'll probably be it. Checker. My goodness. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm just slow right now. I didn't do any practice. So that's showing up in those lap times. Um. You know, that as is often the case when, you know, I need to stop doing this habit that I do of just completely missing uh, practice before starting races, at least for the first one of the week. I need to get practice time because I just shoot myself in the foot um, doing it like this. Probably charging the corners too hard and need to back those up a little bit better. I do remember what used to be fast here. It's, not, it's only been a couple weeks. Um, yeah, time trials absolutely help. I really recommend doing that. I'm just going to try to get a little bit of extra track time here in the uh, qualifying session. And uh, I know that I'm going to be starting in, you know, I'm not going to have a good starting position. That's already done. Uh, just going to have to try to figure it out, follow what the 
other guys are doing in the race and uh, see if I can make something happen there. But yeah, it does look like it's about a second and a half off and then I'm another half second slower than I should be on top of that, uh, which is kind of what was predicted with the setup changes that they made taking down force away. Um, so this is going to be interesting. This is usually about the time when I would pop out and kind of give a run through the field and take a look at who's in the race. But without the practice time, I'm just trying to get a little bit of a comfort level with the track and kind of feel it out. See if there's maybe something I'm missing where I can gain a little bit of time. Interestingly, again with the lower downforce, you're not nearly able to carry as much corner speed. Straightaway speeds there though, these things are, the, the car's flying down the straightaways. Um, so, let's see. Didn't end up actually qualifying too bad. I'm gonna throw the uh, channel up. What's up everyone? Good luck to y'all. And uh, we'll see, hopefully, uh, hopefully this ends up being a pretty good race. Just gotta... Good luck everyone. Now I'm starting 12th. Which tells me there were a bunch of guys that did not take time. Yeah, because I am the, not the slowest one on qualifying time, but I am the third slowest on time. And that's a big gap. Um, everyone in the top 10 is under 40 seconds in the 39.9s and 39.8s. So I've got a half second to figure out just to get competitive and uh, run with those guys. Um, but we'll see. Uh, this will be a learning race. Um, this is often how I end up uh, learning the track. And, wow, that was weird. Okay. So, <laughs> now nah, that, that's beer. That, that's beer. Uh, no, I've not run Myrtle Beaks. In, is that where the trucks are this week? That'd be fun. Um, I thought all three of them were going to be at Auto Club, but I guess it's just the A and the B that are at Auto Club. Can someone confirm that? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, this is a... This is, this is a decent. This is, a, what, 5.5% alcohol by volume, so, you know. And it's the bigger can, so... You know, even for a German, you might get a could be able to get a little bit of a buzz off a couple cans of that stuff. So, fair enough. Um, yeah, I can understand that, and I like Fontana, but I like Myrtle Beach too. And I honestly like I like it better when they're all at a different track, so you can get a little bit more variety. Although I wasn't complaining last week when they were all at a track that, it, you know, when they were all at Darlington, because I really like that track. But, um, ideally, I like, I, I like it better when they do use the opportunity of having those three series to mix it up. Um, <laughs> clean race from clean race, clean race. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Michael, that's an interesting button box you have programmed there. All right, here we go. Uh, starting on the outside in the 13 car, 12th spot, 35 lap race at Auto Club. This is a, it's a short distance. This ought to go by pretty quick and will actually give us um, an opportunity to run some practice at Watkins Glen before I have a complete failure of a race there. But right now, my mind is on Auto Club Speedway and people putting it three and four wide on the start because 
that's what they're going to do. Still there. Clear inside. One only. Still out there. Still out there. Clear high. Yeah, take that, Sean. Not that easy. Fousey getting up there, that's not a surprise. We know Fousey's good. He didn't set a time, but he's going to be rocketing up through the field. The 11's in the wall. That'll be another position. And Isaac Love in the 19. He had a really good qualifying lap, starting well above his number, but it looks like he's already falling back once the race gets going. I say it all the time. Hot lap's one thing, but being able to produce it lap after lap in the race with traffic, something else entirely. Um, I would always prefer to be a better racer than a qualifier. I can work on qualifying and get better at that. Um, and you can work on racing and get that better at that too, but it's the finish in the race that matters. Qualifying helps, though, for sure. I am driving it in too deep and just sliding it too much. Did not get a good exit off, too. So just taking notes about where I'm feeling like I'm missing stuff. Backing off a little bit earlier, trying to get a smooth roll through the corner. That's good because it's better speed. It's also good because... The tires are not complaining nearly as much, and I really need those tires to hang on for the duration of this race. Um, California's Auto Club is one of those tracks where uh, it can run long green just because of how wide the track is. Um, even if you get spins on the back straight and stuff like that, you can have someone go spinning all the way down there. There's so much runoff that they'll spin and there'll be no caution. So. More than some of the other tracks, this is one of those tracks where you want to plan for a long run because they happen here. Uh, it's quite possible that we'll run all 35 laps of this race without a yellow. Um, which would honestly be fine for me. I'm in 11th right now and I've been taking care of my tires. So I, would, I feel pretty good about my odds on a long run of getting a solid top 10 out of this. Uh, the other thing that can happen is because of the way that the packs can bunch up at this track, when you get a caution, you can get big wrecks here. Um, and you definitely have issues like the 19 just ran into and the 11 earlier um, on lap one got to be careful coming off four. It gets really tight coming off of four in particular. It'll get tight off two, but turn four, that wall really sneaks up on you, and you don't want to hit it. It's not like Darlington was uh, last week, where you can hit the wall and still drive okay because the handling's more important. At this track, uh, you know, handling's definitely important, but the straightaways are so long and the speeds are so high that you really need every bit of that arrow. If you notice now that I'm in the draft of the 19, I'm going to be pulling up on him. The draft really matters here too. Um, you want to try to make sure that you're in drafting range of the next cars because once you fall out of drafting range, especially if they're in draft range of the next guy, they will pull away from you in a hurry and it can be really tough to catch him. 19 with a little bit of a slip going into the corner there. I've got the run, and I should be able to make this pass. It doesn't look like he's gonna fight it too hard. 41.049, still outside, clear high. And he didn't. Thankfully. Oh. He's going to try a crossover move back on the inside. 
I don't want that. I think I carried better speed off the corner, so it looks like I've got him now. You use so much brake here. It's amazing, is it? but it's because of the track is so flat. And also, there's just not much grip in this old season service anymore, which I love. Um, it's fantastic to drive and really fun to race. Um, but yeah. That's exactly how I'm trying to do it, one spot at a time. Really want to use all that play that your throttle has. Um, you very much want to treat your gas pedal like there's an egg underneath it. That's the old way that they teach the younger drivers. But yeah, don't. You're not going to be stomping on it in these corners. I mean, I don't know Get on easy. Uh, Min. And it, you know, in that one, honestly, I've raced with Sean, I've raced with Min. Sean tends to be a pretty clean racer, whereas Min has had just about everyone complain about him almost every single time I'm in a race with him. It seems like the Min Fernandez is involved in some kind of controversy. So, without the benefit of looking at that specific incident, I'm probably going to take Sean's side on that. I'll admit it, that's my bias. Uh, but we, if you guys remind me in the chat and we got enough time before the next session, um, we'll go take a look at that if you guys want. So, remember that. That was lap nine, I think. Lap nine, lap ten. Um... Look at the incident between Sean Peleg and the 10 and Min Fernandez. Well, this is good. I'm gaining on uh, Jose Solis Jr. Which I'm not actually surprised. Jose is a really quick driver. But I'm not surprised that I'm getting him on the long run. Uh, Jose definitely drives pretty aggressively. And it looks like he's been into the wall. But... He is not known for taking care of those tires on the long run. Got one in the grass. So there we go. One in the grass. Hope there's no caution there, but if there is, I want to be in front of Jose um, before it's called. So here we go. Diving it down into three. Had a little bit of wheel hop it felt like their thing wanted to jump sideways I had to get off the brakes Still there. and uh, cut it down so there we go that's ninth spot that. now Four, I've got a mirror full three, of the five. Zero, five Patrice getting on the brakes way earlier than I did there I was apparently Still there. late to break Maybe pinched him down a little bit, but I wanted to hold on to that spot. Track position's vital. But if he catches me again, I'm going to have to be a little bit easier on him, probably. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I held on to it, though. That's why you want to have that high line on corner exit. Now Fauzi, I think, drove it in a little bit faster than he wanted to there. He's up to the second lane through the corner, didn't get down to the inside. Um, need to latch on to him and see if we can draft up to that front pack, because they have pulled away from us. So right now, um, eighth is about, eighth is the last spot that's within, uh, contact distance right now. Oh, never mind. Two two in the grass on the front straight. 41.76. Got both of those spots. And that's also going to split the pack up a little bit. Nice save, you guys. And we stay green. That's what I was talking about. A lot of times you end up getting the whole race running green just because it's possible to have a wreck here and 
Reckon too. For the wreck for it to stay green. And there's another one. So that's at least at minimum three wrecks um, that we've seen in this race without having a yellow. Tires are getting worn. Tempers are maybe getting a little bit frayed. And uh, you might have some fatigue setting in as some of these guys aren't necessarily used to running long green a lot of the time. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I recommend running NIS fixed is that it makes these shorter races that are at the sprint length really feel like a sprint. Uh, it, it, you know, after when you run a Sorry, Michael. the Coke 600 in particular, and if you you know, and you can run that and maintain focus for the duration of that race, running a 35 lap at Auto Club's no problem at all. But uh, you know, you can an NIS fix. You run a hundred lapper at Auto Club. It makes the 35 lapper seem like no issue at all. So settled into seventh right now. Trying to gain on Fossey for sixth. Top five is in sight as we're hitting halfway. Um, it'd be pretty tough to actually get there. But, you know, given that we've got half the race left, it's not impossible, especially again, if I've got an advantage on tires, if they've been burning them up and I've got them saved, um, I could definitely cash those guys. There's enough time. So we might be setting up for a pretty exciting fish and finish here. It's just a, you know, we'll see what happens. But right now, car feels good. I feel like I'm driving okay. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch those guys. Managing to keep Patrice and the five behind us for now. <laughs> it's just like dancing on ice, man. It's just, you're on a razor edge of control the whole time. I'm not losing it and kicking the back end out as much the way that I was at Darlington. So it maybe doesn't look like it, but every single time I toss it into the corners, I'm, it feels like the thing could step out at any moment. And same when I'm applying the gas, I'm just kind of trying to keep it right at the edge of the grip. Uh, losing a little bit to the two now. 42. He's pulling away, but I'm keeping in contact range. Yep, that's too. That's gone too wide. Um, I'm keeping in contact with that next pack up in front, and not letting them get away too much. Um, Brett's running those guys down. This thing is going to get interesting before the finish happens. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch them, but it looks like Brett's going to catch them. And if they all get running side by side, Caution. oh, there we go. Caution. Fuel whenever you can, but um, no fuel, no tear off. Four tires for sure. Seventh spot. I'll take that. That's nice. So, First part of this mission's accomplished. I've put myself in a, in a position through the first 20 laps where I have a shot at a good finish. The opportunity's there now. I just need to close the deal. Um, again, if you guys are watching and you're not uh, following yet, if you're enjoying the stream, please do consider dropping a follow. You'll get notifications when I go live. Uh, so you can check that out. And... Uh, You'll get your name on the car when I do the 100 follower uh, thank you car, um, which I am two followers away from that 100 uh, follower mark. Trying to get that done today. Okay, 55. Wanted to make sure that I did not speed. And I'm looking for the 13 pit board. 
which was 12th place. It's going to be just in front of Fauzi's. There goes Fauzi. And there's my guys and the pit board. That should be about dead on the money, so this should be an okay stop. Right side's done. Left side's. That's it, go! There goes Brett, so I'm not going to pick up a spot on him. But I don't think I'm losing anything. Didn't lose, didn't gain. In seventh, out seventh. So, again. Hold and serve in the pits is fine. Gaining like spots in the pits is gravy. The main thing is you just don't want to make a mistake and lose spots. Thing. Looks like Patrice well, did exactly time. that. He lost a spot to Jose. I think it was a 13 too. Um, so this is going to be about 10 laps to go, so saving tires is going to be out the window. Look at Fennelson getting the lead there. I know Darling's in there and every car I'll overshoot the ball, so I kind of maybe did a little on the entry of it. Um, but yeah, yeah it's going to be... On the area, especially in the first half of the race, because I just... I think it's going to be right at about 10 to go. Uh, or probably 11 to go when we go green. So restarting in 7th, that's the inside of row 4. That's a decent opportunity for a good finish here. Look at Brett though. He's worked his way up to the 5th spot. Nice job on his part. Um, and Patrice also. So, the three of us that are going to be starting on the inside row here are the big movers in the race, as far as I can tell. Um, is that Sergio? Yep, Sergio Bella's up there. All right, you're going to have to come around and pick. Having a good race. Uh, he's a follower slash friend of the stream, I believe. Do you know what phone number that is? And yeah. Thirty-five laps, this is a really short race. Got plenty of time to run these and uh get into the national series race afterwards. So that'll be the plan for this week is running a fixed followed by National Series at Watkins Glen. And the National Series race at Watkins Glen is probably going to be a longer one. Um, so running B fixed and trucks is going to be um, on a different schedule. We'll probably do the same thing as before. Work those races in after I get at least you know after I at least get my uh, solid points finishes or use up my four starts for A fixed in the NNS car. We're on one to go. All right, so on Lining the inside, on the inside like. behind the two, one minute 42. Point I might actually two. use more than one. four starts at Watkins Glen. I'm pretty sure Watkins Glen is going to be a drop week anyway. I just want to use that to try to get better at running road courses with these big cars. Um, I'm so bad at it right now that I want to make the most of every opportunity that I get to run the road courses in these things. Look at that, you got the seven car bright yellow, the three car bright yellow. Right behind the two. One to green. Let's do this thing. Gonna be 11 laps to go. So it's a bit of a shootout, but even though it is kind of a shootout, it's that's still it's a good number of laps. You got a lot of time to make something happen, um, and I know that they're going to be fanning out all kinds of three and four wide on this restart as they always do. Doesn't seem to be the tire spin issues that we had at Darlington. And as I say that, the 
7 definitely had some tire spin issue. Here comes the 17, trying to put it on me to the outside. Oh, I didn't realize that I was three wide. Now I am three wide, coming off of two, feathering it. Okay. Oh, geez. Sorry, Jose. Sorry, man. I couldn't do anything about that. You just cut right down across my nose. I'm sorry about the seven car, but uh, that heavy dig. I didn't mean to do that. Now nah, coming out of turn two, my car pushed really hard and I had to ease up a little bit. Yeah. That wasn't your fault. He came down. I, I'll, I'll look at the replay. Maybe I mean I probably should have entered, but I'm trying to do my entry. He's. John, I think we were four wide. Unless there's someone inside of uh, John. Yeah, I, I knew it was four. I heard. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the ten. You're gonna be lining up behind the seven. Behind the seven. See, my spotter actually only s said that it was only the six to the outside of me once we were going into turn two. So I just kind of went and took my normal line, and he just cut right across my left front like I wasn't there. Pit road is open. I'm not pitting. That, that yeah, wasn't. That was a mess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right from the start, it, I knew it was going to happen because it always happens at this track, but everyone's kind of going three four wide you got people getting a jump and split in the middle before it even comes so you know that and that's before the spotter triggers because the spotters jibber jabbering about the start so you know i i know i squeezed you 17 i didn't know that we were three wide when i squeezed up into you there nah, it's all good looks like sean dropped out that's too bad we all made it out of turn two during three and four, then everything happened. Yeah, and again, like, I, I, I'm sorry for my part in that. I didn't mean to do anything. It's just the six cut down across me so aggressively that I couldn't do anything other than, you know, I had to move up to the outside of him because by the time it had happened, there was no, you know, lifting off and try to let him save it. He was completely sideways. My only way to miss it was to go around him. Yeah, I don't think I have any damage. But if you want to check on the left side, that'd be cool. Yeah, I, I don't think I have any damage on the right side, but if you want to check that too. All right, you're going to have to come around to 17. Your left right, side looks like clean. Line it up behind the seven. I'm pretty sure I don't have any damage. I barely touched him, if at all. It's possible that it was net code. All right, you're going to have to come around to five. Uh, your right front wheel well looks a little crinkled up, but nothing you need to worry about. Worry about. Yep. So, uh, now it really will be shootout mode, because once these pace laps are done, we're going to have maybe five laps to go. Actually, it'll be six laps to go when we go back green. So, if nothing else, you guys are getting some excitement. A little bit of controversy. I never like being involved in contact, man. I was all primed and ready to have a 0x and be in good shape. Now I've got a 4x, and with another one of these restarts coming, there's always the possibility to get more x's, um, which I don't want. But I guess I need to be restarting like I'm going to jump up there to the middle because if you don't do it, someone's going to do it on you. It uh, seems to be. Mm -hmm. and then if we get another caution like that, it'll be a one-lap restart. It's just so crazy because you're trying to wrestle with not having any grip coming off too and then folks are fanning out so you're battling loose race cars trying to get the power down 
and not slide into anyone. Um, it's really a mess. Hey, Sean, welcome back, man. What happened? He's having a session yet. He's still running back. He's not happy. <laughs> yeah, I bet he's not happy. He was running seventh when he dropped out. That sucks. Yeah, he just fought the track 20 minutes ago, too. How, how did Sean not already have this track? A one, two, go. Well, he's relatively new, but... Could be on the inside here. One minute forty three point nine five. I didn't know that. I've, I've raced with him so much, I figured he was a season pro like the rest of us. I'm not a season pro. <laughs> this is my third year on the service, I think. So... All right, so can we go six wide in the turn one this time? Or no? <laughs> with the strength of field on this thing, I... I uh, I'm nervous, man, because I know that I've got to. This is a good. This is a good point stay if I can uh, secure, you know, a good top ten, possibly a top five finish. Um, Are there any palm trees here? Yes. Yeah, I've been, I've been to this track in real life. They do have palm trees. It's actually one of the more uh, beautiful settings for a race course that we've got in the country. See the black smoke coming from behind the mountains where them fires are at. <laughs> right? Right. Alright. Well, did all that work on the restart for nothing? That's fine. Here we go. Pace car is gonna drop sure right about right here. Or here. There. There it goes. Leader went a little bit earlier that time. That's probably for the best. I'll lose the spot to the five, but at least I, I've got all this space. Look at this, man. I got I got any lane that I can choose from. 17's looking. That won't fly. Now I'm going to try to get a good exit. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get a run on the seven. Seven's got a run on the five, but he's going to check up. That's going to give me an opportunity. Here we go. Seventh spot. Oh, he's got a big run to my outside. Not going to fly. I figured he'd have to check up if I can look in the rear view mirror. I'm like, that's going to go into the wall if he doesn't lift. Thanks for the so here we go. Just five laps to go. Ooh, overdrove it into turn one. Seven followed me on that horrible line. Seventh spot. Now that it's straightened out, I mean, if I can pick up another position, that'd be great. But a seventh place finish with this kind of strength of field would be really good for my season points, I think. That said, I would love to get a few more spots. Um, that top five is so close that I can taste it. But uh, let's see what happens here. Diving it down into one on the binders. So half second behind the five. Down into three. That's a decent run off the exit there but again it just everyone's running pretty much exactly the same speed I'm not gaining or losing next flag will end it so at this point you you know there's no give up spots or anything you fight tooth and nail for every single spot you can have um, that's what the nine car's doing, is he's running up behind me right now. Off the gas, back on it. Oh, he's got to run. Inside, inside. And he's to my inside. I tried to, tried to make my car wide enough that he wasn't going to be able to get that run. But he got it. 
There goes the 17. That ain't gonna work. Min's complaining about the 10 again. Gonna have to see what happened between Min and Sean. That, that feud has become very interesting. So here we go, final lap. White flag. I'm in eighth. Got one shot at getting the nine. And it's going to be if I get a good run off two, I'll have something for him in three and four. Not the run that I needed off of two. Just going to pull that draft, see what I can do. Not too surprising that I didn't do too well in the restart. I had a better short run car than a long run car. Hey, coming out of turn or a better long run than short run. Nice, congrats. Good one there, Michael. Get it right there, everybody. Good win. Good win, Michael. Yeah, I wish I could have been able to get Michael. That's an eighth place finish. Yeah, I'm going to have to get better on my line and breaking points and everything. That long run. <laughs> hmm. But I was better on the long run for sure. It would have been cool to see what it would have done on the long run because I felt like that was really good on the long run. I just me and the third having a big battle. Yeah, I literally just jumped into this race, you know, without any practice at all. So I was completely guessing on the short run and if I took the care of it be any of those race there to get in the long run, but I was clueless. All right, guys, turn your radios off. Make sure you save your batteries. Make sure the battery is right. in the car. The radio battery is in the car. Get turned yeah, on. I was the same. I jumped in without practice. Good win, car. Michael. Nice job. So, uh, let's see. We got a little time. Let's yeah, review a little tape here. Um, the first one that I got to see is this one which was direct between me and the uh, six, where I'm pretty sure that I'm holding my line there. Oh, man. That's him and the 12. That's a hard hit. But, uh, so the six is inside the 10, which I didn't know. But I still feel like he's cutting down across my front end there. Um... Let's actually wind it back, because he's on the inside of the 10, coming off of two, in the middle there, three wide. I don't go up and block his run. I move down and block the fives, and then give him room in case he wanted to go, but he didn't. And then, yeah, the six turns down like I'm not there. He did a, he did a, if you watch here, um, I'll put it into blimp view. No, nope, that's not going to be a good one. Uh, far chase. So here we go. It's me, the 6, and the 10. And I'm only getting word from my spotter that I am too wide because technically the ten's not on the outside of me. That's one of the ways that the spotter's kind of imperfect. But I only know about him. So I am running this line here, and he's running... Um, this lane and then the 10's running that lane. Now as we bring it forward, he's moving down into my lane before the 10 or before I started my corner entry. I start my corner entry roughly the same time as the 10, but the 6 started his earlier and that's how he ended up wrecking himself across my front end. Um, and again, you know, there's just not much I can do there. I'm kind of snaking down the straightaway, but I move up and establish my line, and I'm getting ready to set up. I even started my turn in. It's just that, you know, I can't see the 10 at all. He just starts his turn in right across my front end, and there's nothing that I can do. Um, 
just because I always like to see what it looks like. I do want to see what it looked like from his view and what he's seeing. So he sees me on the inside. He goes in the shoots the middle three wide. He's watching Sean on the outside. And he's trying to turn in and he just he's not clear there. And spun it right across my nose. Um so the other thing that I do want to see big time is uh, I want to see the incidents with Sean and Moon Fernandez. And Min was I don't even know who Oh, he's in the 14. So, let's see. Yep. Looks like it's already happened here. The first incident, and then he gets himself some damage from something else, I think. But Sean was saying that Min uh, wrecked himself across his front end. Lap 10. Lap 9. Sorry about this. I'm just, when I don't know what lap something's going to be on, I got to hunt for it. Um, here it is. So Sean looks high. And uh, let's see. So yeah, let's see. Sean establishes the high line. Min's gonna move up to block, and yeah, Sean could have given him a break there, but it honestly looks like Min moves up and then kind of stops. Yeah. Um. Like I said, Min does have a reputation. So, yeah, he just kind of moved up and stopped on the 10. I'm not sure if that's actually the breaking point, but that's the first wreck. I mean, and, you know, you, you got to take responsibility for the front end of your car, but Sean's got to run. Min blocks it, the, or Min's blocking him low, so Sean's going to take a look high, and it looks like Min's giving it to him, and then all of a sudden he swings up in front with a real sudden move and then stops the car. So, not much that Sean can do about that. And then, um, let's see. We're going to go towards the end of the race. There's pit stops. Sean's going to drop out for a little bit. Come back. And then let's see. These two are together again. They're going by Jose. I do, I do feel bad about what happened to Jose, but I couldn't really do anything about it. So Min's driving all goofy. He's up to the high side in the wall. What happened there? I don't see how that's the ten's fault either. Oh, he gives him a shot. And then... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that deal is. But I think that that was the extent of their run-ins. So, a little bit of tempers and drama. Um, but we got a eighth place finish out of that deal. Would have been nice to get a little bit more. Obviously need to run some practice and get better because my qualifying time was terrible. And my short run speed is not there. But, I will take that 
to the bank. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitch, please. Subscribe on YouTube if you've not done so already. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, put the throw a like on there. Um, everything helps. Um, alrighty. So that's it for a fixed for today. Now we're going to go.